my channel. Um, hope you're all okay, hope you're well. We have got an exciting week. Um, I know I said in the previous vlog that I was going to try out this new stuff that I bought, but I don't want to rush it and it be rushed this week because I have got so much to do. So, I, before lockdown, I was like a regular like person at this office building in Cardiff and I take all my products down there between 11 and 2 and um yeah everyone in the office building would come down have a little look at my stall and if they'd want to buy something then they could buy something um so yeah I had that quite regularly um so that went obviously due to covid but it's back and I'm going there on Friday um I have no idea how it's going to go because I know not everyone's back in the offices yet and um yeah who knows but Oh, I feel like I just need a market. It's not a market, but it's a stall. I've got a stall. I am going to be booking some markets in. That is another thing that I need to get cracking on. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got this little stall this Friday. So I need to make a load of products for that, um, which is going to be challenging this week because I'm actually back at my part-time job. Um it's kind of good news and kind of not good news because before lockdown I was working 24 hours a week three three days a week um which was awesome but I wanted to drop down to 16 hours a week two days a week just because my I need to like just work on my business a lot more I need to give my business a lot more time so yeah anyway furlough doesn't end until September so I'm furloughed until then, but so when I got this email saying, you know, we are able to get you back into work, um, but only on nine hours a week. So, um, yeah, when I got that, I cried. I was pooing my pants because <laughs> nine hours a week will not get, I won't be able to live off that. And um, even though I've got savings with my business and stuff, my business as of yet is not making me enough money either to really add to that. Oh, so um, I was all worried, um, but I, I did get the message that I'll get my nine hours at 100% pay and then the rest to build it up to 25 hours, which is what I was doing, or 24 hours, which I was what I was doing before lockdown, um, is furloughed until September. And then hopefully by September time, I will be able to go and do 16 hours a week two days a week so but that might not be the case and I might end up doing 16 hours uh, nine hours a week for a while so I I need to get my ass into gear when it comes to my business I need to start making some more money for myself um so yeah this is why I've taken on this stall I'm gonna crack on and start you know applying for other markets and all that kind of stuff but anyway Oh, I'm always, I always take so long to talk. I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah, so I'm in work today, uh, 11 till 2. So right now I'm going to write down a list of everything that I want to sell at the store. I'm also finally going to buy a blimmin' material banner. You know, one of those banners that people have at stalls. Um, I need to design that and order that off Vistaprint or wherever. See if I can get it in time by, get it here by Friday um but yeah I need to crack on and start writing a list of all the products I won't be able to start making them yet because I need to leave in well I might be able to make some of them but I need to leave in an hour and a half so we will see what we can get done in that time but when I'm back I'll make some more go to the gym and then chill but yeah <laughs> I'm so sorry I talk so much welcome to my channel um it's just gonna be a day of uh, a week of making loads of products and you know I've got some I know I've got a zoom call this week with my patrons that I need to organize as well um but yeah you'll be able to come to the market well not the market but the store with me and see how uh, how it all goes who knows it might go really terribly wrong oh, I need to get my car machine for my mum anyway I'm gonna wrap this up uh, let's get cracking and start making some lists and some products. See you in a bit. Bye.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground chair has arrived so I need to put it together I'm very very excited about this I have wanted this chair for freaking ages and um, I've literally been sat on like a dining table chair and it's really not helping my hip back problem so thanks to Michelle my best friend and Megan who ordered from my shop I'm able to buy this so yeah I'm excited so let's open it up have a little look sit down relax and get on with some work we we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night for the last time Stay, stay No, you're gone in the morning But I'll be okay if you stay Okay. 
Hey guys, so the chair is up. It's so beautiful, I love it. And all the pots and pans in the background. Anyway, I ordered some like display things for the stall tomorrow. And I thought I ordered the white ones. I'm sure I did, but unfortunately brown ones have come. But do not be worried. <laughs> I've gone and bought myself some pink spray paint. So, yeah, I'm gonna go outside in the sun and spray some pink spray, sp spray some pink spray paint. Oh, that was a tongue twizzler, is that what they call? Tongue. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do that. So, um, yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. the paint ran out so I haven't been able to finish them properly I finished the first one which is the one at the back but this one needs a lot more um, but I haven't got time to order another one and do it because it's tomorrow so hopefully it'll do but my finger feels really weird from like pressing on the the spray button thingy for so long um, but yeah, best I could do, guys. At least I know for next time to order two and not one. Anyway, let's get cracking with some more. Um, I think, well, I think I'm gonna end my day here for now. I need to go to the gym. Go to the gym and just have a chilled evening. And then tomorrow I have to leave here at half 10 to get there. Whoa, excuse me, mister. I hmm. have to leave here at half ten to get to the place for eleven. So tomorrow morning, coffee and pack everything up, put prices on them, make sure I've got everything and just yeah, hope for the best. I'm gonna forget something, I just know it. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys! Feeling you come back in the same day From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom Why don't we
got you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bed So I am back. I've been back for a while from the stall um, and I've just been soaking up the sun, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, it went really well. It was in an office building. I used to go there quite a few times before lockdown. Um, so it was only the people in the building and usually they have like 1300 and there was like only 300. So I was kind of prepared not to actually sell anything but I did sell a few things so that was really nice and I've gained a few followers from it which is great um so yeah it went well and it was so nice to just set up a little stall again and it's got me really buzzed for summer craft fair so I've got in contact with someone fingers crossed for that and um yeah I'm just gonna ask around and start booking some summer craft fairs in because I've just loved it and I love my new sign let me know what you think about the new sign I will link um where I got it below um and yes yeah, so if you fancy getting one for yourselves I totally recommend I don't know why it's taken me so long to get one I think I was worried about spending money but it's actually not that expensive and it just looks more professional but yeah, I'm happy with how it went. This is probably a really short and w weird vlog because it's just me sorting things out ready for this little stall, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about stalls, 
yeah, comment them below. I will answer them for you the best I can. I'm not a profesh, um, but yeah, let me know. And if you're local in Cardiff or Wales, South Wales, and you know of any craft fairs coming up, please let me know because I need to get myself booked into some. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog as always. If you have, please don't forget to press the little thumbs up button to like it. And if you want to see more of these videos, then don't forget to press that subscribe button. Don't know what happened to my eye then. Um, and the little bell notification as well, please. So you don't forget. And you're always reminded of when my next video's up. But yeah, have an amazing weekend. The sun is shining. It's so it's so hot and it's lush I love it so I hope you enjoy your weekend or you've enjoyed it because this will be going up on Monday I hope you've enjoyed your weekend I need to get myself sorted um anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will see you for another vlog um in a couple of weeks time bye guys